Okay, you guys, so while I have time, um, I decided to do two videos today, so I did my update video. Now I'm coming at you with the unboxing of my binder. So, let me give y'all some background, okay? Um, so I have already had a breast reduction. Um, growing up, um, growing up, I had extremely, 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 extremely large breasts. Um, so I had a breast reduction approximately almost 11 years ago. Oh, it may have been young. Oh, yeah, about, about 11 years ago. 10, 11 years ago. Um, I had a breast reduction, and when they gave, had the breast reduction, I begged and pleaded for them to just take them off. And even my mom was like, dude, just take them off. But the problem was with insurance, they were only covering a breast reduction. They weren't covering a mastectomy or a top surgery or whatever you want to call it. So they had to leave so much breast tissue there, um, you know, to, for it to be covered under insurance. And then I ended up, you know, having my daughter and they grew back. So when it came to bonding, I wanted to be cognizant of the fact that I still already had, you know, I have scar tissue, you know, very similar to what they do for top surgery um, for, you know, FTMs is very similar to how they did my previous breast reduction. Um, my nipples were completely removed. They didn't, you know, resize them very much, but they had to completely remove them. Double incision. So I have the circle where they cut the circles around the nipple straight down and then across the bottom. So it's very similar to the double incision of top surgery. Um, so when it comes to when it came to binding, I had to find something that was comfortable for the fact that I've already had, you know, I have scar tissue, I have scars. Um, certain spots can be a little more sensitive than others. So I definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, then also, I'm not little by any means. Like, I'm two, I think last time I stepped on a scale, 270. So 5'7", 270 pounds. I'm not a, a little person by far. And, and I have decent size um, chest. So I've tried the um, binder on already. I will come back and do a video more specific to that. Um, but I just kind of wanted to go with why I went with what I did. So I ordered the um, GC2B full tank binder. Um, this is their website. Well, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Um, so yeah, that's better. So that's their website. Um, and I ordered it right before the holiday, right before 4th of July. And it came pretty quick. Like even with the holiday, I literally got it in less than a week. And that was, like I said, being delayed with it, the shipping happening around the 4th. So, it cost, they're normally right now, um, 35 bucks for the full tank, 33 or 30, you know, right around then, 33 for the, um, half binder where it just literally comes under you. It doesn't go all the way down. Um, and then they always have, like, codes. I've been on her a couple of times and they have, like, um different like discounts and stuff when i ordered it it was still during pride so it was five dollars off for pride so with the it was five dollars off so with the shipping and everything it was like 37 bucks so you're looking at like 42 bucks normal full cost um they have different ones they have nudes and colors and things like that i personally went with the nude um that was close to my skin complexion um i wasn't sure i was kind of going back and forth with like black and nude because i wanted something that i could wear under my work shirts and sometimes i can wear t-shirts well 90 percent of the times i wear like t-shirts and jeans to work but there are times where i wear um button downs to work and then of course tank tops when I'm not at work and things like that. So I wanted something that was kind of universal because I was only going to buy one. Now, I'm going to start wearing it as of tomorrow, like wearing it consistently because I've had things going on where, I, you know, I, I wanted to be able to wear it and wear it consistently to be able to do a great review on it after I did this. But I want to make sure when I started wearing it, I could wear it consistently. My um, rest day from binding where I won't bind at all is going to be on Sundays um, and that's because I go to school um, I'm in barber school right now so I go to school on Sundays and I'm wearing my barber smock and I can just wear you know two sports bras or anything and, and with the smock and everything you really can't see but Sunday's my rest day from binding for right now 
Um, and then I had some things to do and it just, so with it coming on, it came on a Friday. I was busy Friday night. Saturday I had things to do and so I couldn't devote the time to it. Sunday, of course, was my rest day. So today is Monday. So I'm going to start um, today. So it comes in. This is a priority mail package. It came. I don't need to be showing y'all my information. So this was the package it came in. Just a regular priority mail package. And it comes, it comes wrapped up in plastic. I took it out the plastic already for the most part. So it comes and they have a lovely card. It says, if you guys can see it, be strong. Be strong, be proud, be happy, be safe, be you. Um, basically, we hope you love your binder. Here are some guidelines. Basically, tell you how to care for it, hand wash it. If you machine dry it on fluff to tighten your binder, but let it air dry overnight. Wash on delicate, the FAQ website, emails, Facebook Messenger. And then the, the warnings for your binder. Don't force it if it doesn't fit or feels too tight. You should try it on when you're cleaning completely dry. Pull it over your head like a tank top. If it's uncomfortable, pack it up, send it back. And they do have an awesome exchange policy. Um, because I was worried, you know, for what size. Because I have very broad shoulders and my, you know, upper area is a little um, top heavy. So I was like, you know, I wanted to make sure that... What if I bought one that didn't fit in the return policy does allow for that. Um, you can exercise and swim in these binders. It just m recommends if it's you're going to use it for exercise. If you're going to use one for exercising or swimming, go a size up from what you would normally bind with every day. So if you're in like a 3X and that's your everyday binder, get you a 4X to work out and swim in. Um, take a break. They say, you know, make sure um, you're not, but you bind 8 to 10 hours each day. Uh, try to take a breather during the day and take at least two days off week stretch regularly and practice good posture and if you experience any pain or discomfort or have trouble breathing take your binder off never bind with elastic bandages tape etc I'm gonna speak on that a little bit later but so I'm gonna put this to the side so then it comes with your um, your shipping label of what it is it basically says what you bought what order so I ordered the new number two and I ordered it in a 4XL. Um, I wear like a 2X in t-shirts. Um, I have no clue to be honest what like measurement wise, what size bra that would be because I haven't worn a clasp bra in years. I usually wear sports bras and I go somewhere between like a 2X to extra large. It really just depends on how tight of a hole that I want on them. So this is, it comes folded up. So this is the binder. And like I said, I went with the new number two, which was the closest they had to my skin complexion. And that's the bottom of it. That's the top. So I'm going to flip it inside out for you guys so you guys can actually see the binding portion. So this is the front. This is the part that actually goes over your... Um, you know top area so it there's really not a lot of give to it so the material itself if you look this part is very stretchy this white part where you actually bond with is it's tight there's really no give to it um and then the back panel on this area is just it's a little tighter but it's elastic kind of sucking those little side rolls and things you get um but this one goes all the way down even with me being five seven there's enough to tuck into my pants um when I do the review, I will try it on for you guys, just not right now. But the material, when I did try it on, it was comfortable. Um, it gave me a, a decent hold. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I'm out here looking like a dude with pecs. Um, you know, that's not what it's going to do. It definitely made things a lot flatter. Um, but one of the things I will say for anybody who is top heavy or even just a big guy, you put it on. Be mindful of the fact that there's a lot to move and it can only move so many places. Um, for me, when I bind, I don't maneuver sideways or anything like that. I keep how, you know, you're supposed to bind and, you know, nipples pointing forward. So it kind of sits up and holds them in. So it definitely looks better in like my dress shirts and things like that. Um, but of course, it's not going to make it completely flat. It's going to give me a flattening appearance, but it's not going to take it completely away. Um... But it definitely works. I, I recommend it. Um, if you have any questions on sizing, definitely reach out. The 4X fit me well. Um, it wasn't too tight, wasn't too loose, and did what I needed it to do. 
Um, only other thing I want to speak on, that little never bind with elastic bandages or tape, etc. Everybody has a personal preference. What may work for you may not work for somebody else. Um, but be very careful when binding, however you decide to bind. I do not recommend ace bandages because they wrap all the way around. And I'm speaking from experience. Even before all of this, before my breast reduction for sports and to swim and to do things like that, I would wear two sports bras and then take the ace bandage and wrap it around just to hold things in place. It's dangerous. Period. You know, it, it's very dangerous. It, it's a short-term solution. If you're buying it for like 20 minutes or for like something theatrical. But long-term, because it's meant to constrict. And as you breathe in, every time you take that breath in, it's going to get tighter and tighter. Tape, you're going to hear mixed reviews about. Some of you are going to say, don't do it. It ruins your skin. It, everybody has their own opinion of it. I don't think it's a bad thing if done correctly. Like... Taping to bind, like using KT tape, trans tape, whatever tape you find. One, you don't wrap it all the way around. You know, wrap from your sternum out and hold it in place. Um, but when it comes to tape, whether you, regardless of what tape you use, make sure your skin is clean. Make sure if you're going to tape, you're going to take the time to take the tape off correctly. Make sure you're soaking it off or using some adhesive remover, baby oil, something like that to remove the tape. Do not just rip it off because you're going to hurt yourself. Also, make sure you're taking care of your skin regardless of how you're binding. Your skin has to breathe sometime. Make sure you keep it clean. Make sure you moisturize it whether you're binding with tape or a binder. Keep it moisturized. Keep, you know, take care of your skin because once it's damaged, it's going to be harder to repair. And it's easier to take the time to take care of it than to try to repair damage because you rip off tape or you rub your skin raw because your binder ain't sitting right or you didn't put on, you know, something to cover your nipples or you didn't put on a tank top under your binder or a sports bra under your binder, something, whatever makes you comfortable and you rub that area raw, you're going to have to stop binding when it heals, until it heals. So... Just, you know, take care of yourself and, and I understand, you know, dysphoria and waking up and not feeling like things are right or seeing, you know, certain things going on with your body may upset you, may not, you know, put you in a good state of mind, but you always still want to take care of self regardless. So find a happy medium, find whatever works for you, but just do whatever you do safely. So I will do a review on the um, GC2B full tank binder. Probably within a week, because I at least want to try that for a week to give you guys a good honest. But so far, just from the unboxing, I do like it. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. Shoot me a message. Um, thanks for watching. And if you, if there's anything you want me to speak on, any subjects you want me to touch, please feel free to let me know. Make sure to tell somebody to tell somebody to watch it. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.